are some practical ways that you can use Erasma, and the, the beauty of this app is that it can meet you uh, where you are technology-wise. Whether you're technology struggling or tre technology proficient, Erasma is definitely for you. So uh, what Jill and I did was we established this uh, uh, bulletin board uh, around Bloom's taxonomy. So starting with the lowest of Bloom's taxonomy, uh, knowledge, we've got uh, trigger images. And so you're going to need these images to trigger Erasma to bring up um, websites, videos, so on and so forth. So here's an example. We've got the trigger image of some young ladies uh, in choir, and we overlaid a, uh, an actual video of them singing on top of the picture. And so what you get is... And you can double tap to bring the image to the front. Imagine having 16 static images serve as your AP Economics review in May. This is one of 16 that should be recognizable. Each image brings an educations overlay that explains what you should do. And when you single tap it, it gives you more information and a question that you should be able to recognize as a review. Our math teachers want their static image to have the problem worked out for people who might not have access to technology, but the beauty of having a math problem come to life and worked out for students, the first thing we need to do in order to great for parents and problems, students, need to isolate our and when you single tap, it gives you more practice of the same type at home. Uh, Prelinguistic vocalization is academic terminology that my AP psychology students need to know. So when we go through prelinguistic vocalization, the word actually comes to life with what an example of a prelinguistic vocalization is. When you single tap it, we can further instruction for students to be able to evaluate what type of prelinguistic vocalization that was an example of. School culture is important at Northwest High School. Students can take the Erasma app, can go over the green door sign for the counseling center, single tap it and send an email through a Google Doc to sign up to see your counselor. A concern of all educators is how do we advertise our exemplar uh, work from students? How do we put our students' work in the hallway and make it meaningful? Here we have a standards-based bulletin board uh, advertising student work on the 27 Amendments of the Constitution. One of the ways to make this come to life is to layer students talking about their own work and what they've learned from a project. So in this case, you can use Erasma to show students telling uh, anybody in the hallway what it is that they learned about this uh, particular project. Further, you can single tap the screen and it will take the viewer in the hallway to a Google Docs that then pulls the viewer into this formerly uh, two-dimensional uh, bulletin board and it makes it that much more interactive.